Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragon. In the last episode, I finished up disc 3. Holy moly, it only took a million times of me saying, hey, I think I'm almost at the end of disc 3, to finally be on disc 4. Anyways, I am officially past the point at which ever I got when I originally played this game back when it came out. Um, the more I think about it, the more I realize I don't even think I actually got to Disc 4 because I don't remember this desert shit at all, and this is right where Disc 4 kicked off. So either I saved it at that first save point in the desert, or I literally never got to Disc 4 and I just thought I did. Maybe I was using a guide back then? I don't remember. Maybe. It's possible I was using a guide when I played this back then. So, um, so that means it's very possible I just already knew, um, that I was going to be on disc 4 pretty soon, and I just assumed I had gotten to disc 4. Because I remembered that opening shot from when we first got to Velweb, so maybe I got to that first save point and stopped and didn't finish Velweb. Anyways, oh god, I thought I should have kept moving. Anyway, I noticed in that area with the with the oasis water thingy that there was like four different ways to go. I didn't know which way to go. And I probably should keep moving when I move to a new screen, otherwise the enemies run into you here. It's cool. We fought almost no enemies the first go around through the desert with all those fucking whirlpools everywhere. Anyway, we also learned that all the enemies here pretty much die to one combo, so ain't tripping off of any of these bitches. Just gotta keep working on them additions, yo. Anyway, off screen, I did not do any grinding. I literally am just picking this right back up where I left off last episode. I load it up and boom, here we go. I haven't done any grinding, therefore the team shall stay the same. Maybe when I finish Kongol's edition, I will swap him out. In fact, that's pretty possible. We'll see. We'll see. I'll make a choice. Anyway, we need to move before we start fighting. That was shit. I don't know what, where I'm going. Um, am I in a new area? Am I back where I was before? See, now this is... Why does every freaking RPG game on the PS1 have to have a desert freaking area that's a maze? God, I hate this shit. Fuck, I'm about to I'm about to do the same thing on freaking Breath of Fire 3 here in a minute. Actually, that's not for a while in Breath of Fire 3, but still. There's some Oh god, there's some of the same fucking desert maze shit that you got to deal with in Breath of Fire 3 also. And now it's just it's we funny to me that I'm doing another goddamn desert maze here in this fucking game. Thing is I didn't know this one existed. This one has caught me by surprise. And something tells me it's a lot less frustrating than the freaking desert in Breath of Fire 3. But we won't talk about that right now. What we'll talk about right now is... What the hell are we doing down here? Okay, well, I already know this is going to pop me back out. I'm pretty sure, anyways. Wait, there's two ways to go down here? Huh? Which way leads me back? Okay, that way leads me back out. Well, then where the hell does the other one go? Hold on. Maybe there's just multiple ways to fall down. I should have went down here first. Because I assumed it was just going to be place to fall down but let's see where this goes first okay so this is just dead end all right cool we have learned all right so there's just gonna be a million more freaking sand holes to fall in and there's like four treasures down here that I want all of them so I have to figure out which sand holes to fall in great fucking great okay well don't fall in the same one you just fell in because that didn't lead you to anywhere useful great wait you know what fuck it heal why not we're here it doesn't hurt to heal every time you're here unless you haven't gotten in any fights, so that's fun. Okay, so... Let's try to the left this time. See where this goes. To the left. To, let's, you know, let's just start. Let's just try every sand pit until we get the treasures. It really doesn't matter since we're not running into battles. We can go around in circles all goddamn day. I figured it'd be too easy to hit the first one, but we had to try, right? We had to try. We had to try. Alright, well, this is going to be a fun fucking episode, isn't it? Just me falling in sand pits on purpose trying to get all the treasures. Yay! I'm sure you guys were... All of you who've been to this point in the game before, we're all prepped and ready for this, I'm sure. You're probably like, oh man, he's going to be wandering in that desert for a whole another episode at least. Yep, and here we are. All your dreams and hopes and wishes have come true. Wandering in the desert. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Check this hole too. Check in every hole. Don't give a fuck being systematic about this shit. Nope. Wishful thinking. But I'm still going to be systematic about this shit. I'm just going to
just going to knock out each one as I see it. Try not to fall on any one that I've already fallen in. Like I said last episode, I almost want to fucking grab a piece of paper and start drawing myself a map. Shit. Just grab my uncharted notebook and start writing out a map just like fucking Nathan Drake would, man. Just like Nathan Drake would. I mean, that's what I did when I was playing freaking The Witness. I wrote down all those hexagon puzzles so I wouldn't have to, like, try to remember them or whatever. I wrote down the three that I had, I say. All those. There was three of them. <laughs> anyway, alright. Oh, god damn it. I tried to get the treasure and then all of a sudden I got the belly flopped on. God damn it. Dag nap it. There's also another whirlpool here, so we'll have to drop down and find out where it takes us. Systematic, I'm telling you, we have to check every single one. That's the only way to know. Also, what the fuck is this spy? Oh, it's one of those things that rolls like a ball of poo. It's one of those things. Okay. I know what you are. I know what you are. You're one of those type of things. Rolling your ball of poo. I see how you roll. <laughs> Small joke. Small joke. Get this giant sandworm right quick. And then hope that Kong will get to turn to smash this poo ball rolling scorpion hoe. Now, what is he? He's a beetle, right? A spiky beetle. Call him a dung beetle. That's what he is. He rolls a ball of dung. Although that's the most fucking ice uh, symmetrical spherical ball of dung ever. Although it's been rolled, so I guess the more you roll it, the more spherical it shall become. He must have been rolling that ball for a while then. For it to become so spherical. Weird. Weird, dude. Weird. Alright. Now that the fucking belly flopper has been dealt with, hopefully I don't get belly flopped by the next guy who's literally about to belly flop me. Ah, oh, I can't carry any more items. Of course, that's the problem. <sighs> We're rotating, rotating, forever, ever rotating. Okay. Well, uh, what do I have that I can just, like... Do I have any shitty things I can just discard? I feel like I do. What do I have? Do I have an attack ball or any crap like that? I have a... Uh, I don't have any of that kind of crap. Okay, cool. I have a panic bell. Screw you, I'm out. Get out of here, panic bell. I don't like you. I always keep forgetting to use you. Power down? Wait a second, what? Power down? Hold up. Hold up. Power down? Oh my god. That could be useful. Oh my god, you can power down an enemy. That is kinda cool. Shit. Got attacked by the first motherfucker in my way. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. I survived. Damn, I'm looking over at my recording footage. I hope it's not ridiculous. You know what I'm realizing about my recording footage? Is that it's probably too good. I wonder if I can fix that. I think that might be part of my problem. Oh, my problem being I've been, when I edit my videos, my, uh, not editing them, but when I um, render them, they're starting to get a little take too long. I guess I render them again. Whenever, when I fucking upload my videos, they're starting to take a long time to upload. And I think it's because I might be recording in higher quality than I need to be. I mean, not that it's a bad thing to record in higher quality. But for some reason, this capture device just can't handle it. So, I might have to change something. I'm looking over at my capture right now, and it's like laggy as hell. And I. Weird, and I don't want that to fuck up the actual footage. So what I think I'm gonna do after this battle is I'm gonna restart the capture with a slightly lower quality. And just kind of see if it changes anything. Because so it should it should run smoothly. It's weird that it's running this slowly, especially with the PS3 being what I'm recording this on. I'm not recording without HD at all, really. It's just weird that it's that slow. It's just because I'm probably capturing it in higher quality. I wonder if it was like that yesterday when I was recording. I didn't I didn't notice because I was busy paying attention to the game. Um, oh, shit, get out of the way. Okay. Well, I'll do it in a second. Let's. Oh, God. I'm going to go in this hole first, and then we'll go in the upper one at next. I, I will do it as soon as we get back to the um, oasis spot. Ah, damn it. Oh, wait, no, no. Actually, there's a treasure here, isn't there? I think this actually landed us in a good spot. Heck, yeah. Don't be an item that I don't want. Damn it. Or I shouldn't say don't want, but can't grab. 
It's fine, whatever. Let's just use one of these damn healing fogs. The healing fogs I fought so hard to not have to waste one. But you know what? Screw it. Whatever. Things can be replenished. Sun Rhapsody. Oh, speaking of things that can be replenished. Actually, Sun Rhapsodies are not the sun. Whatever. Anyway, give me a second. I'm going to restart the capture. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I don't know. Something about my f capture window was, like, lagging or something. It was weird. Anyway, I checked the footage that I got already captured for about 10 minutes there, and it was fine. It was just, like, really weird that my computer was showing the capture screen is lagging. Now it looks fine. And I was actually capturing it the fucking highest quality. And, and then I lowered it to the lowest quality, and it was still jumping and lagging around. It was weird. But it was still capturing my footage flawlessly, so I'm not tripping. So if it does start doing it again, I'm not going to worry about it. In that case, I'll stop looking over my damn window. So anyway, we found a treasure on that one on the right. Let's just double check that this one doesn't lead us to another one. And then we'll be done with going to the left. And then we can check the right or the upper area. Starting. Okay, so that, not unsurprisingly, sent us over there. Okay. We have officially checked all of the left options. I'm glad. We also found that power down, which should be a pretty good item. I'm glad. I'm trying to fight as little amount of battles as possible, so even though I'm going to be doing the same shit, fall down a hole, come back around, it won't take too long, and I won't have to cut a bunch of times just to fucking show me getting the treasures. That would be really nice. I don't mind systematically doing this if I can. Did I check up here? I didn't go through this one, did I? I don't think I did. Let's make sure I do. To confirm. Okay. I might have actually done that one, but I don't remember. Either way. I think I started to the left, though. And the one I fell in the first time was actually on the right screen on the right side. I don't remember which one I fell in, though. So we're probably going to fall in one we did fall in before on the right side. Just because I don't remember <laughs> which one it was. <sighs> Hopefully I won't waste too much time doing so, but let's see. I don't... Let's see. I think I went... I think... Oh, I actually left this screen. Okay, let's start with down. I don't know why. I'm just going to pick down first. Alright, to the left is... Not a hole. Okay, well, let's see where this goes. Oh, this leads to here. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, noted. Okay, what if I go down from here? Down actually leads to another way to go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that leads to a hole. Um, and another hole. Okay, so you're going between two holes. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Man, I really do need to fucking make a map with the way this shit's laid out. I'll figure it out, though. I'm going to try to do it all from just staring at it. Usually, if I keep doing these kind of things, I have a pretty good yes. sense of direction. Fuck, I forgot to... I wasn't ready, let's put it that way. I started babbling. Um, usually, I have a pretty good sense of direction when it comes to just things in general. So, it's hard to get me all turned around where I get super lost. Only when you throw me off and put me in so many areas that look exactly the same. Now, I guess this is a good example of places that look exactly the same. But if you systematically go through it and it actually, you start running into different things, we should be okay. So left and right. Okay. Ah, oh, I should have just went. I should have just went. I didn't realize it was gonna be a dead end. Sorry. Right, we're going left first, obviously, after we fight this fucking dragonfly bitch. Dragonfly bitch. Dragonfly bitch. Anyway, I have to investigate that whole, uh, uh, you know, I was mentioning when I'm uploading my videos are so for some reason taking longer to upload. I think it's because the quality is way higher, which is a good thing, but I don't want to sacrifice my upload speed for slightly better quality on a PS1 game, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to have the PS1 game not be a fucking, the highest fucking visual quality. It's a PS1 game. It's not what it's, the game isn't even in that quality. All you get to see is the pixelated shit even better. It's like, why do you need to see that so so you can stare at it like I'm staring at it? I don't know. HD PS1 game isn't really necessary is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> it doesn't run in 60 frames per second or anything like that, so there's really no reason to try and capture it in the absolute highest quality possible. Unless you're just ridiculous, which I'm not. But, I mean, I don't, actually, I don't mind capturing it in the highest quality possible, but rendering it in the highest quality possible is almost unnecessary, is what I'm trying to say. Capturing it in the highest quality is actually a good thing, because then you can mess with it how you will, and it'll still look good no matter how you render it. Even if I rendered it in low quality, it would still look really good because it was captured in high quality. But anyway, enough about quality options. This ain't Twitch. This ain't no streamage. 
go down the right side of this one and then we can go check out another area. Please land somewhere where there's a treasure. Yeah! Alright, so we landed in two of them. Now we gotta figure out how to get the one up top in the upper area. And of course, it's another item I can't hold. Great. Am I hurt at all? Yeah, I'm hurt a little bit. Okay, cool. We can waste another healing fog. Fantastic. I'm really hoping there's gonna be a, a point where I can buy items again. Oh, great! I dropped a fucking... I love it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna explain. I love it. Replaced it with a recovery ball. My favorite. My favorite item ever. Alright, so let's go back to going this way then, now that we've established that. When you go right here, going down leads you down. Literally leads you down. That's actually good to know. Okay, so from here, I went. Let's see, I can go right or I can go up. Let's try up. I think I went up before, actually. And then to the left. Nope, no, nope, let's go left first. I hear the sand fucking pit over there. Okay, I actually haven't been here. This is good, okay. Oh shit, well, we're going down first. <laughs> good to know. Alright, and of course. So we need to find a sand pit that's a little bit further north up that way if I want to land up in that area where the other thing is. At least that's what I'm surmising based on if, I'm, if direction ability means anything. Then I'm, see I'm assuming we gotta make it a little bit further either further up from here or further right from here. One or the other. So let's see, I went right and I went up and I went left and then I fell down. So we'll go from down, we'll go we'll go right or we'll go up. Let's see. Up. Okay, down's sucking me in. Up doesn't have a way to go. Left does not. Okay. I'm going to assume that left will not take me where I want to go because it's right next to the one that goes up and I, I, it just doesn't make sense directional wise that it would land me in the right place so I'm not even going to go on this one I'm just going to go north from here I'm assuming a pit that's way further away from these ones will take me to the other treasure that's way up in that other room you know? come on baby on knocking these additions out. I'm a little disappointed because I haven't been able to use Kongles for a while. I kind of want to master his, but I'm sacrificing mastering his for working on Hashel and Dart some more, which is not a bad thing because they have more additions to work on overall. Although I would like to drop Kongle as soon as I can. Oh my god, oh my god, don't suck me in, don't suck me in. No, 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 no. Oh. I didn't want to fight another dragonfly, goddammit. All right, left from here? No, not left. Son of a chib. Well, that's what happens. And that did well. Landed me in, a, in that one. Okay. Okay. So we're actually getting pretty close to the whirlpool I need to drop into to get that treasure. And the good thing is, is, once I get that treasure, I don't have to fall in any whirlpools unless I want to. I'll try to avoid the whirlpools. I just want that one. I just want the one. And once I have the one, I will be complete. Do you hear me? Complete, I say. All right, so I went right, then up. Oh, you shake and bake the belly flop and sandworm hoe. And then I went left. Okay. And then I believe I went left again. No, I went right. I went up. I went up. I went up. I went up. And I went up. 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 Okay. And then I believe I was gonna go up again from here. No, stop it. Up. 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 Okay. Ah, go up. Go up. Go fuck. Getting jumped by dragonflies. Oh shit! Found another fucking checkpoint. All right. Well, let's go back then because I want to make sure we get that treasure. All right. So I found the way to go. That's easy to remember. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this other treasure. I guess it makes sense since these arrow, these, this arrow of rocks is pointing you north. Pretty easy to figure out. Oh, I'm checking this one. This might be my ticket right here. Be my ticket. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. All right. Not quite, not quite, not quite. I think I need to figure move myself farther off to the right side of the desert if I want to land in the right spot. That's what it seems like. Directionally, that's what it seems like. It's weird because down here underground, it's a little bit different. Like, it's a different perspective than when you're in the desert. So you have to, like, think three-dimensionally in a 2D space. It's very wonky. Wonky. Who you calling a wonky? 
wonky. Right, I'm just gonna go right here if I can. Let's see if I can. Now that I found the way through the desert, let's see if I can just figure out how the fuck to get this this treasure, and then we can move on. So can I keep going right here? No, that's a dead end. Okay, let's go as far up in this corner as we can. All right, this is okay. This is as far as up. Okay, far up we're going. Well, let's hope this is the right one then. And it is not even close. Holy shit. Okay, then that means I have to go to the right and down. Interesting. 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 Okay. Well, let's, you know what? Before I do anything else, let's go this way. I haven't gone this way yet. At not one time. Maybe this is just the key to what I need to do. I haven't actually been down here yet. There's probably some treasures of their own down here. Okay, there's just one way to fall. If this falls me right next to that treasure. Okay, not even close. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad it didn't because I was about to be upset if the one hole that's right there fell right to it. Okay. We've eliminated that screen completely. That was bothering me that I hadn't been down there yet. So now, okay. What, let's go this way then and see what other directions I can go from here. Because I went down. I didn't... And I came from up. So let's check right. Right is a sand... Uh, it's a pit. Did I fall in this one though? I don't think I fell in this one. I also don't think I fell on the bottom right one down at the bottom here, right? I only fell on the left one, right? Right? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. Let's fall on this one right here and see what happens. And then from there we'll make another decision. Knock them out, Hazel. Oh, I fucked it up the last second. God damn it. I hate when I get five or six right. So annoying. So annoying. Ah, <sighs> so very, very annoying. Come on, just give me this treasure. We can move on with our lives. Nope, not even close. The hell, man. Alright. Alright. Come on, man. D like, sp Three-dimensionally, I'm already lost. Now I'm like, I don't even know where to go to get that thing. It doesn't even make any sense to me anymore. Nothing makes sense to me anymore, guys. All right, we're going up from here. And then I guess we're going right from here. Yeah, we'll go right from here. And I don't... I guess we can go down. I don't think that, like, we've gone this direction. Okay, this actually might be it. I can go down further, okay. Okay, there's another thing down here. Oh god, that's oh god, there's treasure. Sick. Gladius. Okay, that's a weapon. That's definitely a weapon. Alright, let's see where this goes. I said farther right and farther down, and Oh. Oh wow, it landed me there, really? Wow. That's not even close, dude. Not even close. That's the opposite of where I wanted to be. Well shit. Am I thinking about it backwards or something? What the hell? I'm so confused. Anyway, let's see if the, who the Gladius is for. Who can hold a Gladius? Gladiuses are usually swords, so I'm assuming it's going to be Dart. And it's not, of course. Oh, it's for her. Of course it is. Well, shit. Let's throw that Gladius on her then. Fuck yeah. Pretty good. Instantly kills enemy with given probability. Dude, count me in. Screw stunning. I can insta-kill. Hell yeah. Um, somebody was also telling me the Soul Eater plus the Healing Ring, the Therapy Ring. I think that's what it was called. Is there another ring that does the same thing as Therapy Ring? Um, I still have the, nobody has the Dancer Ring on right now. What am I doing? Well, I don't. I'm not using a girl, so never mind. Um, I don't have any extra Therapy Rings, do I? No. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put the fucking Soul Eater on, and I'm gonna. Oh, goddammit. And I'm gonna take the fucking therapy ring off my fast girl. I'm gonna put the dancer ring on there for now. Just for the hell of it. And then I'm gonna put the fucking healing ring on my boy Dart, and watch as we crush. I think I have another therapy ring. I think I do. I'm tripping if I don't think I have at least one more of these. Well, I'm tripping because I don't have another one. I need to get myself another one of those. I don't even know if I found that or if I bought that. I forgot. But I could totally use another one of those. Alright. 
So, we found ourselves a Gladius. So now what the hell do I do? I need to figure out how to get this goddamn last treasure. It's going to eat at my soul if I don't figure out a way. Alright, we're going right here. I think I went down from here, right? Okay, can I go right from here? Nope, that's a dead end wall. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I can go down twice here, but the thing is, going down twice doesn't make any sense. But uh, when, Since when has this shit made sense? We might as well just check the middle one. I only checked the one at the bottom. I gotta know. I can't just assume. I, if I don't check, I'll be like... If I, and, I, and it takes me forever to find it, then I go back and check again later. I'm gonna be upset that I didn't check that one. So I'm gonna check it. I'll give a fuck. We really haven't spent that much time here. I mean, I expect this to take me a whole episode to finish this place up. I mean, unless I'm already done, but even that next oasis spot had multiple directions to go, so I'm thinking we're not going to be done with this quite yet. I feel like we're going to be stuck in the desert for an episode. Already, we're stuck in it for the last 15, 20 minutes of the last episode. But at least we already got through that first area and got all the treasures. So i got to be systematic about this shit. So let's not rule out any possibilities of this weird shit. Let's just go in this hole and hope something happens. And the answer is not even close. Okay, that's what I kind of figured. But I had to be one hundo. You can't not be one hundo. Because if you're one hundo, you're Mike Rotundo. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, cool. Now that that has been unconfirmed, let's get back to it. I don't know why I went this way. This is probably... Okay, we're going right. And then we're going to go up. From here I went left only. I didn't really go up or right from here. Can I go right? Can't go right. Can I go up? Okay, I haven't gone up from here, have I? This looks new. This looks new. Okay, this might be new. I'm gonna look around here first. It sounds like there might be a wind whirlpool either to the north of here or the right of here. Let's hope that one of those, if both not, one, not one, blah, blah, blah. let's hope that they lead me where I'm trying to go, man. I'm getting annoyed. I just want this treasure, man. This is what I get for trying to get all the treasures, man. It's probably not even worth my time. But you know what? The Gladius was one of them, and the Gladius is worth it, man. So let's hope I'm gonna find the fucking best treasure ever. Somebody's final fucking weapon. Fucking great armor for somebody, you know? Also, Kongo finally got a turn. It's crazy. It's been a few battles, sir. I'm waiting for you to get a goddamn turn. He still needs, like, two more before he's done, right? Oh, nope. That was it. Bone Crush. All right, we'll leave Kongo in for a battle or two, see if we can get a get a Bone Crush in just to show it off, and then I'll maybe I'll swap his ass out. Oh, shit. Well, I guess we're going in the North Hole and hoping that it drops us where I want to be. Oh, so close. So close. But I might be in the right direction, so this is good. This is good. The fact that it dropped me on the screen is a happy, happy thing. So let's do that same direction and see what I can do from there. See what I can do from there. Uh-huh. See what I can do from there. Gotta love that there's a free healing spot here. This place really is a great place to grind additions. The fact that there's a free healing spot is ridiculous. That just makes this basically the place you should just max out everyone's additions if you want. These enemies are really easy at this point. You can kill them all in one combo. So you don't get your ass kicked. Plus there's free healing. Like this is... And you can fight battles at your own pace because the enemies just keep trying to attack you. Like this is a great place to grind. I don't even know why I'm not even just bothering to just max everyone out. Oh, this is this spot. Fuck, then how the fuck... Where's the end? Where, how do I... Maybe it's not even in this area. Maybe I have to keep going up. Did I drop in this hole to my left, by the way? I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. I might have to check to make sure. I don't remember. Now, see, now my systematicness is fucked up because I've checked everything. Or at least I thought I did. We're at the end of my rope. Alright, I'm checking this hole, and then fuck it. That's that's the answer. I'm checking the hole, and then fuck it. I bet you this item is good, because it's so hard to fucking get me to find the right spot. But maybe there there's seems to be more to this desert. I'll find it in the next area. Either way, there's a save point. I'm going to use that save, and then we can always come back. I still haven't got to use Kongol's edition yet, by the way. 
All right, let's check this hole. And if it's not it, then so fucking be it. It is not the hole. Okay, I think I did check that hole now that I realize where that lands. Cool. Love it. Fucking love it. God damn it, dude. I don't know where the fuck I didn't go. And like I said, thinking about it 3D spatially, it doesn't make any goddamn sense, so... I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. How about that? Sounds like a goddamn plan? I think it sounds like a goddamn plan. Alright. So I believe the fast way to get to where I was was up... And then left... And then I think we went straight across to the right... Stay away from the fucking sand pit over here. Oh shit, there's this... My bad. I forgot it was up from there. My bad. Ugh, stupid. Ugh, this fucking place is driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy, man. It's driving me bananas. It's driving me bonkers. Driving me up the wall, man. Don't worry, we're gonna get there, and when we do, it will be glorious. Should have already wasted like two thirds of this goddamn episode on just wandering this one area trying to get the goddamn treasures. This is stupid, stupid. Now we're going up from here, and then up again. If this is the arrow, then it's, yeah, okay, we're done. We're done. I'm gonna save it, obviously, and then. If there's another way to drop down, because there's multiple ways to go here, too. We're probably just in the middle of wherever we need to be to actually get that treasure. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, I'm going to use the save spot real quick. Because I need to be better off. Alright. Move it up. Save it up. Knock it down. Break a hoe. Save it up. The Death Frontier. We are here. Looking for... We're looking for a Wingly village, right? That's what we're here for. Trying to find the village of whatever. Ulan or Ulario or whatever the fuck it was called. Okay. New area. New holes to fall in. Yay. Nope. Oh, shit. But it landed me over there. Okay. This is good. This is very good. That means I'm, la I'm getting closer. So maybe I wasn't crazy moving on, but now I'm going to walk my ass back up there. It's fine, though. It's fine. At least I've proven my point. Mis puntos es provino. That's not any of the correct words in Spanish, but you know what? Don't care. Don't care. Actually, mis puntos probably was close. Muchos puntos para mí, para mí, para mí. <sighs> I just love walking back and forth through the desert. God damn it. <laughs> If only it was as pleasant as the desert from Super Mario freaking Odyssey, man. That was, let me tell you something. That desert level, that was as pleasant as a desert level could ever get in my life. Like, it looked as desolate as any desert ever. Sundown and dusk and all that, but man, it was just fun. I can't wait to play Super Mario Odyssey. Is that random to talk about right now? Shit, I don't know what else to talk about. It's fucking wandering through this goddamn desert. But seriously. Super Mario Odyssey, gonna be the tits. Also, I'm running. I don't like that when you get close to the damn, like, relatively close even, it starts sucking you in. I'm not even that close yet. Fucking sand pit sucks you in from too far away. But anyway, Super Mario Odyssey, man, it looks great. I had a blast playing even just the little demo I got to play. Ah, I can't wait to play it. Obviously, I need a Nintendo Switch to even play the damn game, but it doesn't matter. I will. I, I think Switch will be readily available come holidays here. I think they were wise to let the Switch release before holiday. So they could get all the people who were going to be ridiculous when it came out and want to buy it immediately and buy like a million of them immediately. And then, oh, I unlocked the new edition, but I didn't equip it. Idiot. I was here at... Um, yeah, so, got all the early adopters out of the way, you know, got all the people who are going to buy them right away and scalp the shit out of them, that's, you know, that's still going on, yes, but the demand is getting better, or, uh, demand is still there, 
but the supply is getting better. And then obviously as holiday rolls around, you're going to see so many goddamn Nintendo Switches sell a sell. It's going to be ridiculous. Going to be redonk. And I will be one of those purchasers. Should I might even consider rebuying motherfucking Breath of the Wild on there just so I can play it on there if I want. That's how good Breath of the Wild is too. Good shit, man. There's not really anything exclusive for the Switch version. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we're starting north. We'll go more north. And then we'll see where this leads. This leads to a dead end corner where I'm fighting another fucking worm of sand whale garbage. Yay. Yay. <sighs> Alright. Anyway, gonna work, gonna murder this goddamn sand worm real quick. Damn it. At least we'll get an opportunity to see Combo's freaking edition. So that's good, right? God damn it. <laughs> I was hoping I'd do it right on the first try so we could see it. Damn it. I keep screwing up all my additions now. Son of a bitch. Stop it. Watch, I'm going to get this one right. Time. Yep. I don't know why I can nail that one every time. I'm just screwing up everyone else's. Ah. It's alright. Whatever. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Now, let's get the fuck off of this screen before I run into something else. I just need a new whirlpool worth jumping into so I can fucking get that treasure. I'm gonna keep going, like, left, so north, from my direction, left is north. Oh, fuck, did we find the way through? Oh, shit, I think I found the way through. <sighs> God damn it, I don't want to go that way yet. I want the treasure, damn it. <sighs> Give me my goddamn treasure. Okay, you know what? Left again? Alright, we'll go left again. Screw it. Okay, can I go up from here? There's a whirlpool below me. Ooh, there's treasure though. Alright, screw it. I was gonna I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna go discard something. But I think in this battle I'll just use an item and then that'll that'll get me around this whole needing to make space business. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a recovery ball. That's right, you heard me. I'm gonna use the fantastic best move ever. It's called the recovery ball. You guys heard of it? It's the best thing ever. Um, I'm gonna use it on Hashel. Yeah, that's what I'm using it on. Fuck yeah. And, oh shit, heal all move? Nice, a heal all move. Gotta love it. All right, let's punch this dung beetle. Ah, the fucking counter always gets me, I swear. I never get his counter. I miss it every time. Alright, Kongo, let's do it. Here it comes. Holy crap, that last one was fast. I wasn't ready. Damn it. So close. Gotta get it right one time. Gotta get it right at least once, goddamn. Gotta get it right. Gotta get it right, get it right. El Dirte for the win. Yes. Don't Gus. fuck Gus. this Gus. up, Gus. dude. God. Peace out, worm. Big worm. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say something about how I forgot to use the recovery ball, but I didn't. I actually did use it, so that's good. All right, let's grab this shit. Come on, give me whatever's in the box. Give me what's in the box. What's in the box? Healing potion. Okay. Well, that may have not been super duper worth it, but I'll take it. All right, come on, land me where I want to be. Yes! Oh my god, I finally did it. I finally did it. And it's a bandit shoe. Oh hell yes. Does that is that gonna do what I think it's gonna do? Please tell me. Please tell me. Please tell me that they're going to be exactly like the dancer shoe. 
Yo, that's it's game over, dude. I'm gonna be so fast, people won't even know what hit him. It's gonna be crazy. Yo, that's awesome. That's awesome. She, motherfucker, she. All right, so shit. I might actually cut here now that I got that and meet you back at the end of this place because. Unless I find something else. I might do a little bit more looking around, but I don't know. Either way, I think I might cut now. Yeah. I don't know. Let me think for a second. I'm not cutting yet. I'm just thinking, like, am I going to look around some more? Because, I mean, there, I just found that where that holy healing potion was. So there's a possibility there's more treasures out there. Let me go. God, i got to go all the way back around, though. Let me just do that real quick. All the way back around, though. Um, let me go. <laughs> yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. Fuck it. So up here, and it was left, and then it was up again. Yeah, you do it enough times, you fucking become a master of it. It's almost like uh, left, up, right, up. Or sorry, it was up. Up left, right left, yeah, and then boom, you're in the lo uh, you've made it through the lost woods, Booyaka. Yeah. Did I say up, right, left, right, left? I said up, up, left, down, left. Sorry, that's what the answer is. Anyway, I'm just gonna see if there's any treasures over here. There's not one here. There's not one here. Just run, just run, just run. Fuck y'all shits. Come on, just find one more treasure to make this worth it, man. One more treasure, make it worth it, make it worth it. No! I'm probably gonna get sucked into this hole too, which sucks balls. I wonder if I can avoid it if I kill this thing and hold the up, to hold the down button like my life depended on it. I'm gonna hope so. They need like an extra sprint button so you can run really fast for like a short burst. Fuck, why did I press circle? The hell am I doing? Dummy. Yes. Fucking idiot. I press circle. What the hell am I doing? Yo, you didn't press circle not a one time unless it's a counter. Come on, man. Come on. You should know these things, Hashel. You should know these things. Well, I shouldn't put it on Hashel when I'm the one pressing the button. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 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 we got away. We got away. We got away. Alright, cuckoo. Let's see where this goes. Lead me to a treasure, please. Lead me to a treasure. Lead me, lead me, lead me to a treasure. Lead me, lead me. Okay, left and down are both available. Okay. Actually. Oh. Let's go down over here. Because I feel like... I think I think I know where that screen is. I don't know. We'll see. Let me see what's down here first. Oh, shit. This is leads me back here? Well, fuck. That's no bueno. Um, hmm. Alright. Fine. You wanna leave me back here? Fine. I didn't really need to heal, did I? Mm, probably not. Okay, let's just go left here. We should be able to go up here. And this should lead... Where am I? Okay, yeah. I'm already done again, then. This is back at the end. This is the part where we're at the end again, isn't it? And, yep. Okay, so cool. Let's just hope that this is it. We're done with the desert? Please tell me yes. Please tell me yes. Please tell me yes. Don't tell me no. Please tell me yes. Yes! We're on the world map. Sick. Okay, cool. Um, I'll be right back. I gotta take a quick... Fiverr, I'll be right back. Like, it'll literally to be no time for you, but BRB. Okay, sorry. That Fiverr actually turned into more like 40 minutes. Oh my god, I took like a long ass break. So this is going to be like the most disjointed episode ever. Luckily, I only have to go for like a little less than 10 minutes. Anyways, I just got out of the fucking desert. Here's the spring breath town of Ulara. I'm guessing this is the Wingley town. I mean, that was the name we were looking for, right? What are we coming here for, though? Rose needs answers or something because she doesn't know what to do with her life? What happened to Diaz slash, slash slash Zeke from last episode? He just fucking disappeared? Like, what what happened? I don't even know what happened there. Anyway, even if an adventurer is lucky enough to make it through the death frontier, nobody can proceed from here. But why? 
time was stopped for me 11,000 years ago with the spell of this choker. And this is the only way to see Ulara, the Spring Breath Town. Okay. But where is it? Good question. The only thing here is an endless desert. No, it's not, Hashel. I sense it. I sense people's feelings. Over there. Of course you do. You're a wingling. Duh. So make it reveal, girl. Let's see it. I'm excited to see a new town. Let's do it. Hey, there's a town there. That looks pretty cool, actually. All right. We can fly over there with this. I'm assuming this is a teleporter. Are you afraid? I think you are. Oh, maybe. We are standing by you. Stand by me. I know. Let's go. When you're not strong, and I'll grab treasure. I'll help you carry on. Stand by me. That's the wrong song. I know. It's Lean On Me. Um. Huh. I'm almost tempted to just drop this shit. It's okay. You can actually waste a healing item. Good. I didn't know you could do that. Alright. A Sun Rhapsody. Sweet. Actually, that's pretty good. So, I'm okay with the replacements. Alright, guys. Let's explore the town of Ulara. Full of winglies. Oh, my God. Hold on. Welcome to Ulara, the Spring Breath Town. I am the guard of the teleporting device, Karen. I'm a good friend of Rose's. Long time no see. Long time. Rose, you are starting to regain a sense of time, aren't you? No, not only that, you have recovered a lot of other things, too. Are you the person who stopped time from, for Rose? No, it was Charles Frama. She is the person to meet now. Charles Frama, as in somebody who's related to Melbu Frama? Isn't that the other person's name? Rose has been carrying the fate of the world all alone while shedding tears of blood. Can you go with Rose? I've already been going with her, dude. Karen, stop it. I don't need to force them. I've already settled things with the black monster. The only thing left is that I have to complete this journey with my companions. If you understand that, I have nothing to say. Okay. So, immediately upon first sight of this fucking place, I'm here, dude. This is the moment. So, I did get to Disc 4 then. I've been doubting myself ever since I got to the desert on Disc 4, but now I know that I have been to this town. So I definitely finished the desert. Maybe the desert pissed me off so much that I didn't want to play anymore and I just didn't, I didn't continue. Maybe that's what happened, man. It's hard to remember from such so long ago why I would stop playing this game when I was so close to being done. But definitely, this is the screen I remember. I 100 remember the 100 percent remember this screen. This is the screen I was waiting for. I remember it being green. I remember being on like the outskirts of a town. I thought it was more like a wall, but this is actually a pathway. But this is definitely the screen I was looking for. Holy shit! Now, have I been inside this town? I don't know. It's possible I just went back out and saved it in the world map. I don't remember. Let's go in and find out. But I know I've seen this screen. So, we are officially back where I can remember that I got to when I played this game before. I definitely know I didn't beat this game, 100%. But I definitely have been here. I can tell you this. I don't recognize these screens other than that first one. But still, I've been here. I know it. The water flowing down there is created by magic. Magic does bring happiness to the world unless you use it the wrong way. Oh, I see. Magic brings happiness unless you use it the wrong way. Got it, got it. I, used, I thought he was saying doesn't, and it said does. It's been a while since the last time I saw a human other than Rose. It's been 11,000 in uh, some years. I don't know. Over 11,000. It's over 11,000. Is this teleported somewhere? Had to find out. There's two other ways to go, but there's also a teleporter. Okay, what do we have here? Somebody's house or something? Hello? We only provide relaxation time during the night. Come back after dusk. Okay, so this must be like an inn that you can only stay at when it's nighttime. Weird. Weird how it actually works like a real place to stay. It'll probably work anytime 
if it wasn't time for me to go meet whoever. Who are we meeting? Some Frama? We're meeting some Frama. Anyway, I'm kind of hoping there's a safe one here, and then we'll just call it an episode. I just wanted to get to this point in this episode because I knew we were going to get somewhere. Also, piranha plants. What the hell? Miata, where is Charles? You are wondering because she would normally be taking care of these babies, right? Charles is preparing herself because, well, the things we didn't tell you about, right? Zig told you them, so... It must be about the moon signal. Tell me what you know. The signet is the signet sphere. The signet sphere is a sealing device and was created to be the last barrier just in case the moon child reached the moon that never sets. Even my mistake was in your plan. You are really scary people. <laughs> Even more scary is Zeke. He's trying to destroy the signature sphere using the divine moon objects. Wait a minute. You made the signet sphere just because you were afraid of the birth of the god of destruction. And why did you make the tools that can destroy the signet? As Charles, it was decided between the siblings. I will. I'll ask her everything, goddammit. I don't even know, like, the siblings? I'm assuming Melbu is... Now that we know that there's two Framas. Oh, in the mouth of this. What? There's... <laughs> Now that was an accident. I just wanted to see if I can examine those. You guys were meant to come to this city. Humans, Gigantos, and one of us, a Wingly. Yeah. I would like to tell you something. It wasn't only Winglies that wanted the Dragon Campaign. However, it is true that Winglies and humans drove themselves to war. If you have time, let me tell you a story about the two Winglies, who were the leaders. Fine, I got time, I guess. Probably not, though. Tell me! First is Melbu Frama. He was the leader of the Winglies during the Dragon Campaign. He was also the younger brother of Charles. Got it. Being the leader of the Winglies meant being the ruler of the world. He professed the, that only Winglies had the right to live, and he ruled over other species physically and mentally. As a result, the grievances of the other species accumulated, and the Dragon Campaign began. The war ended when the royal capital, Cadessa, was annihilated. And at the same time, Melbu Frama was killed by the sword of the Dragoon, Zeeg. Okay. The other man who led the Winglies was Faust. Oh, shit. Faust. As the right-hand man of Felt Melbu Frama, he was feared by other Winglies. He also was known as a wizard and a magician. His magic power was incredibly enormous. He could even create his own apparition, his double. The apparition had most of the capabilities of Faust himself. However, Melbu felt uneasy over the existence of the apparition, so he created something. What Faust did was like professing an intention towards disloyalty. It is natural that he didn't like it. It was called the Vanishing Stone. With that item, it is said that you can make the apparition disappear, although I don't know if it's true or not. Let's get back to the story. Faust was the commander of the super mobile fort Flanville as well. Now Flanville is at the bottom of the glacier, however. It used to be a floating used to be floating in the sky in order to protect the five main cities that also floated in the sky. Faust manipulated Flanville and killed any other species. Wow. Fascinating. However, the insanity of Faust ended with the collapse of Flanville. It was shot down by a weapon invented by humans, the spear shooter. Okay. His beloved vehicle became his tomb. He should be satisfied with that. That is the end of my story. If you want to listen to it again, come back anytime. I'm more than willing to tell you, because I have nothing better to do with my life. I've been sitting here for 11,000 years and I have nothing better to do. Interesting, though. We learned a lot more about Faust. I've been wondering about that guy. And he said something about a vanishing stone being able to get rid of the apparition. Is what we ran into and fought the apparition, or is that the real guy? That is the real question. Oh, shit. Oh, Rosie, darling, I've been waiting for you. Oh boy, don't tell me this is Charles. <sighs> Am I getting stuck? Oh my god, this is going to be a long episode because I got stuck in this conversation. I don't need your greetings. You know what I want to ask you. Oh, you are scary. But before that, can you introduce me to the son of dear Ziggy? Or Ziggy, whatever. This is Dart. 
doesn't he look just like our Ziggy? But Rosie, honey, it's complicated. You have to fight with the son of someone who used to be your significant other. And furthermore, the f enemy is, is the significant other. Do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich? Sorry, honey. But I'm really concerned. So I'm intentionally making it happy and delightful so that you don't be depressed, Rosie, sweetheart. You have never changed. Charles, if you know, please tell us. Where should we head to? Really? You have the same eyes as dear Ziggy. I know. I have been waiting for you in order to tell you everything. Now, what would you like me to tell you? God damn it, everything, I guess. About the signet sphere, please. Sigi is trying to break the signet of the moon that never sets with the magic power of the divine moon objects. That signet is the signet sphere. I am sorry that I didn't tell you about this. I have to apologize. I miss the moon child, Shauna. But you still have time. The signet of the moon that never sets is not broken yet. Where are the remaining signets? In the past, they were placed in the five cities, but there are only three left. That's why they needed the same number of divine moon objects. Ah. What happened to the other two? One was destroyed in the royal capital, Cadessa, during the Dragon Campaign. And the other was lost when the Divine Dragon assaulted the Crystal Palace. Does this mean without the Divine Moon objects, the Signet Fear cannot be destroyed, or can be destroyed? The Divine Moon objects are just tools that conceal vast amounts of magic power, that's all. So in order to destroy the Signet Sphere, having the same amount of magic power as the Divine Moon objects is sufficient. My dad knew about this and made Lloyd collect them. It doesn't seem like him, and it's so indirect. Plus, something is strange. I wonder how Ziggy knows about the Signet Sphere. Not only that, he knew that Shauna is the moon child. Okay, tell me about the moon that never sets. About that moon that never sets. It's the 108th fruit that the Divine Tree dropped. It was conceived with the God of Destruction that ends the world. That's why we separated it into its soul and flesh and sealed them away. My baby brother Melmu sealed the soul which was the source of the magic power in the crystal sphere. But uh, when he fought with Ziggy, it was broken. Then the soul escaped from the crystal sphere and started to transmigrate into a human body. Since then it has been called the moon child. What is left in the sky is the moon that never sets. When the moon child goes back to the moon that never sets, the Virage embryo, the god of destruction, will be born. So, we needed our Rosie to take an, on an important task. Please understand her. Okay. What about my daddy? Tell me about my daddy. You are concerned, aren't you? Why does he have to destroy the world? Come on, man. Sorry, but that is the one thing that I don't understand. But he was unmistakably Zeke. Ziggy was the fiancé of Rosie. They crossed both swords and love. Just looking at them made me feel embarrassed. Stop right there, Charl. I want to talk... I want to talk... I want to talk alone with Zeke about our memories. Not you. I agree. Okay. Let's keep going. Why make the items that break the signet? Why did you make the divine moon objects that can break the signet sphere? Tell me. That's right. If you were not planning to allow the Barrage Embryo to be born, you wouldn't need them. I didn't want to, but my baby brother Melbu insisted. That is not an explanation, Charles. Oh, you are so uptight. But, okay, I'll explain it to you. I told you that we sealed the soul of the Virage Embryo in the Crystal Sphere, right? It is in order to draw lots of magical power and rule over other creatures. I wanted to make him stop being a dictator, because even though we have different appearances or capabilities, we are the same. We should be able to live together on good terms. 
That's why I created the Signet Sphere, in order to weaken the magic power of the Crystal Sphere. Rose, without telling you that. The five signets that protect the moon that never sets restrain the magic power that flows from there. My operation was a big success, I thought. But Melbu found out about it and created the Divine Moon Objects. I guess he was prepared so that he could destroy the signets any time he wanted to. Hmm, I get it. I get it. Okay, so where the hell are the rest of them? Where are the rest of the signet spheres? That's right. That is the most important information for you, isn't it? Because Sigi has the Divine Moon Objects and he can break the signets any time. Listen carefully. The rest of the three signet spheres are located in the ancient cities. The names of the cities are the Magical City of Aglis, Law City Zenobatos, and Death City Mayfield. Zenobatos. Where was that at? I saw that name somewhere. Where was it that I couldn't go? There was an area it wouldn't let me go to earlier, wasn't there? Anyway, Aglis sounds new, though. Those cities are still alive? It's surprising, it isn't. Of course, they were badly damaged during the war. How do we get there? Go to Rouge. Then your way will open. You said Rouge! It's my hometown! Yay! <laughs> See? It is already open, isn't it? Well, it'll be night soon. Why don't you go look around until tomorrow morning? Sure. Fuck me. I didn't know I was going to go straight to Charles like that, but that's fine. Whatever. It's cool. Just wanted to stop and take a break, but it's cool. Oh, Dot, darling, are you going outside? Everybody left a little while ago. Yeah, I'm going outside. I need to save it. I'd like to save it, please. Do you have a save point in your house? That'd be much appreciated. Ooh, there's treasure in here. Damn it! <sighs> Alright, we'll come back to that. I need a fucking save spot. I'm, I need to stop. I know this is probably over an hour. I'm not doing another episode right now is the thing. I need to just stop. It'd be nice if I could just stop. But I need a save spot to do that. So let's fucking find one, damn it. I didn't know I was gonna go the exact correct right way. Oh my god. For real? Ah! <laughs> anyway, now our way is opened. Shauna, I'll be there soon. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. What have I done? Suck it, game, for being ridiculous. Anyway, whatever. Long episodes for the win. Rose. <laughs> you really forgive. Don't say anything. It's already in the past. 11,000 years in the past. Don't even trip, girl. Don't even trip, girl. Take your sword. What? What? You have become strong. You can take care of yourself. Kill me. Nah, I'm good. Why? The black monster's dead now. We only have... a companion who is on the same road. True that, because now that she has no reason to kill the moon child anymore, well, not no reason to, but she's not doing that anymore. Well, she's not the black monster anymore, right? So the black monster technically is dead. Doesn't make sense to me. Anyway. I miss the time when you were chased by Fairbrand in the forest. Me too. And I didn't know anything back then. The world is so frail, man. The world is created so that it can perish at any time. Creator Soa can recreate one any time. But the people living there can accept it, believing it is fate or struggle against it. I struggled in order to protect this world that was taken back by friends who gave up their lives. I told you, you're no longer alone, Rose. Gah! Dart. Let's go see everybody. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of our new adventure. And I'm going to find a fucking place to save. Because I need to save the fucking game. I'm going to game the game. And I want to start the fucking episode. 
But I gotta find a save to do that shit. There is my save. Holy shit. I just happened to go the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, stop singing to Zelda. Shut up now. Next time on Let's Play Freaking Legend of Dragoon, we'll look around for our friends and move on. This is exciting. Disc 4, dude. We're here. We're past the desert. I'm sorry for the long episode. I'm sure you guys don't give a shit. Who gives a fuck? We're like 36 episodes into this bitch. Long episode ain't shit. See you guys next time. Peace, baby.